It's Amanda here with Healthy Hydration. In today's video, we're gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to properly use the hydrogen testing drops. It's important to know that these drops, they will decrease in their ability to show you the real results the older they get. So the shelf life here is about six months. So if they're older than that, then most likely it's not gonna be accurate results, okay? So step one is you wanna make sure you have distilled water. Step number two, take off the lid, make sure your hydro shot is fully charged. And then you also wanna make sure you've been cleaning your hydro shot. If you're not cleaning it once a week with either our cleaning powder found on our website or vinegar, then most likely it's filling with calcium. Or if you let it get dry inside, the membrane will dry out and then it will not produce high amounts of hydrogen. You'll have to recondition it, it takes about three days. Keep it going over and over and over again, it will recondition it. All right, so here we are. I filled it up 80%. You don't wanna go too much because it builds too much pressure and it will pop the PEM membrane. So just be careful of that. All right, so now what we're gonna do, make sure the bottom is lined up snugly there, and then we'll go on a 10 minute cycle. So while that's working, unbox here, the hydrogen tester, and you will notice you have a little vial here, and this stuff does stain, so be really careful here, and then you have the hydrogen drops here. And we have the stir stick. Okay, so now that we have this, and we're gonna wait here for the 10 minute cycle so we can show you, but there is the six milliliter, that's where you wanna fill up the water. So we'll go through that, and then the drops, one drop will indicate a 0.1 parts per million. So that's one drop, 0.1 parts per million, okay? So 10 drops would be 1.0 parts per million. We'll go through that here in step number two. All right, now we have completed the 10 minute cycle. You'll notice that there is a push button at the top. It's gonna be a pressure release valve. You can do that anytime it's making its hydrogen because it will be easier on the device, the pressure wise, if you do that. You might not hear a big pop, but that's okay. Just because it doesn't pop doesn't mean there's no hydrogen. Okay, so now we're gonna be very careful that we're gonna just do one pour here. Because if you do a whole bunch, then every time you move it, you're losing the hydrogen. You wanna make sure that's number one step. Okay, and because we know that our device here, go ahead and shake these up, watch out because it will stain everywhere. So be careful, okay? We know this, this device gets over 3.0 parts per million. So we can go ahead and just put 30 drops. But if you were testing something else, maybe the bottle only made 1.0 parts per million, then you'd want to do single, one by one by one. But because I know for sure that there's over 30, I'm gonna go ahead and put 30, and then we'll slow down from there, okay? And so when you do it, you also wanna make sure you get really close to the water, because any droplets there, of course, it's gonna move the hydrogen. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay? And as you see, it's clear. That's great. If it turns blue, that means that there's no hydrogen, but there's at least 3.0 parts per million here after the 10 minute cycle. And so we can keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, that would be 4.0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that would be 5.0. Okay, so now it's kind of pulling up a little bit. So what you can do is you can take your stir stick here and lightly stir it. And now we're, we have 5.0. But when the whole thing gets blue, then you know for sure there's no more hydrogen. And it's sent to 7.0. So there's at least 7.0 parts per million here, which is great. And it's still going. We're going to go ahead and stop for that right now. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this was good value to you. We'll see you next video.